our everyday life, we see data in so many different forms, right? Audio and video files, images, lists, text data like messages, reviews, and so much more. As the type of data changes, the way of handling it also changes. We will understand the differences between structured and unstructured data in this video. Now, structured data is very organized and it fits nicely into rows and columns like data in Excel. Think of a sales database where the customer, product and cost information is stored, each row containing one unique purchase. It has a fixed format and is generally stored in a database. It can be easily analyzed using SQL, that is Structured Query Language, where we write queries to analyze the data. On the other hand, unstructured data has no definite structure or a data model. Common examples are text data, audio, video, social media, real-time streaming data from IoT smart devices, customer reviews, and many more, where insights go beyond numbers to feelings, opinions, and ideas. Consider an example of customer review. Text reviews cannot be stored in a tabular format. Also, your data can be a mix of text, audio, and visuals. These irregularities and ambiguities make it difficult to store data in a fixed format. But the thing is, this unstructured data holds tremendous insights. And if not utilized, businesses will lose out on many opportunities. Let us look at the differences between structured and unstructured data. Storing structured data is pretty straightforward in well-defined rows and columns in tables. Because of the variety and ambiguity of format, Unstructured data cannot be forced to fit into tables. It is stored in specialized databases. Structured data accumulates at a much slower rate in comparison with unstructured data. Every single day, the bulk of data produced is unstructured in nature, like emails, texts, social media data, reviews, and so on. IDC and Seagate predict that global data will grow to 163 zeta bytes by 2025, and the majority of that will be unstructured. We saw this earlier. Now, uh, the structured text is simple, like addresses, names, and so on. But the text in unstructured data is complex. Say customer reviews that have to be analyzed to determine whether the sentiment of the review is positive or negative. This is a complex analysis. Audio, video, handwritten documents, tweets, and so on come under unstructured data. More and more data collected is unstructured and this percentage is growing day by day. Structured data can be stored in databases or data warehouses. But any change in the requirements takes a toll on time and expenses. Unstructured data is stored in specialized databases like NoSQL, MongoDB, or data lakes. Given the massive scale of unstructured data generation, data cloud lakes, Hadoop, and other systems allow enormous storage and management. Structured data is easier to manage and is searchable using simple methods. We already saw that enormous amounts of unstructured data are generated every minute. Hence, storing it is challenging. Also, it is not just storage, but analyzing video, audio, or text files is complex. And lastly, structured data can be easily used by non-technical users as well. On the other hand, unstructured data analysis, say of customer reviews, to find out the sentiment requires specialized machine learning algorithms and natural language processing. So a score is assigned to each word in a review 
and then the overall sentiment is predicted. So in this case, expertise is needed to analyze it. To give you a visual clarity, uh, you can see how the left side has well arranged and fixed formatted tiles. This is structured data. On the right, you can see that tiles, shape, size and arrangement for unstructured data have no particular format. I hope you enjoyed this video and can now confidently identify the differences between structured and unstructured data. You can find out more about IIBS Certified Data Analytics Training, which deals with business data analytics at techcanvas.com. Thank you.